like I always say, you can't harvest them in the house. Get up, get outside, and have a good time, and also worship the Creator more than created. Thank you very much. <laughs>
obviously um i'm gonna try it tomorrow and I, i'm gonna video it and share it with you guys and uh but i didn't go in no half inch ounce jigs now i did know that uh, luke says that's what he uses and i think drew said he uses just all kinds so um and maybe i was wrong on that you could go back and watch the interview on my live videos here on youtube KKOA Let's Talk and uh, learn for yourselves, but that's what I'm doing. Uh oh, Captain must need to go out to go potty. You need out? Cap, you need out? Um, switching my rods, I don't know if you can see that or not. To let's see, can you see that? K9. Been hearing a little bit about this, so I'm putting this K9 line on all my river rods. So we'll be talking about that tomorrow and see how that goes uh, with the river rods. I'm also too going to, uh, I've got some uh, straight up Ned, Ned rigs from uh, True South. So one, one ought and uh, got the flatheads on the bottom. So I'm gonna rig one of these up uh, for with a Ned rig. I got some, I got some neat looking. I'm gonna try some new stuff tomorrow. So I got the power baits, and these are the uh, little generals. So I'm gonna try those. And I also look here, I found these Domeki, and they're cool looking. They're called the Stingers, three inch. So I love the little bitty tail on them. I don't know, hopefully you can see that right there, that little bitty tail. And uh, let me just get one out of the pack. Let me get this set up on the stand. Just get one out of the pack here. And, uh, so y'all just bear with me using my phone tonight to do a little bit more uh, recording here. Then we'll get my GoPro out. So let's look at the Domeki uh, Stinger here. Uh, look at those. So let's look at what they look like. Uh, they do have the keeper on them. So what I'm gonna do is, so if you can see this right here, so I'm gonna pull this down where you can kind of see that's the case it'll be like this right here like normal and I've just got to work on that but I do like that action them things with that little bitty tail it'll be like that in the water bouncing around that should be really good action so I don't know if I mentioned or not but I switched to this canine um, line and I went to eight pounds for the river. Uh, so I've been using heavier line, but now I've been catching a lot bigger fish here lately, uh, but at the same time, I'm kind of afraid maybe the, uh, it is a little harder to, uh, you know, broke off. Usually you gotta cut it if you use, but I'm hoping this eight by K9 will give me the strength. It is fluorocarbon. It's gonna give me the strength and the ability to uh, break it off if I need to. So, um, so just trying something a little different. Um, so, I just messed that one up in time. So, looks like it ties real well. So. Uh, seen a bunch of kayak tournament, them sponsoring a bunch of kayak tournaments. Uh, so, I asked one of the tournament directors from Foothills uh, Kayak Club, and he said, no, he said it was a good line. So, uh, I never heard of it. Made in Tennessee. So American made, that's always good. So I know that's nasty, isn't it? But that's what you gotta do. That's <laughs> what you gotta do. But also to the smaller line, be less visible in the water. Hopefully look more natural. So there we are. So I'm gonna see how this looks presentation here for that. 
So don't look like there's much memory. That's the biggest thing that I hate is when there's a lot of memory. So, so I, I got them in two different colors. I uh, got them in actual purple too. So see that purple? I think it's going to be pretty. So I got them in a purple and a green pumpkin. The actual professional name is pumpkin purple, green pumpkin purple. So I'm excited about these. Also put one of these. Uh, I'm gonna put a spinner bait on there on my, I think my medium heavy, and then I'm gonna put one of these. Uh, but I'm gonna wait till I get there because of the scent, the max scent. I'm gonna put one of these on there, uh, standard Texas rig. So, uh, so let's get the line changed on the other ones. I ain't gonna bore you with it. I'll come back on when I put the bait on. You catch a lot of smaller fish in the river with, you know, these kind of open hook baits. But once in a while, a big one will get it. So I'm just trying to broaden my horizons a little bit while I'm up there at the, uh, the river. I'm bad just to use finesse baits up there unless it's winter time. And then I use, uh, I use a, uh, Dirt bait. So white with red eye. A little bit of red on the there. Willow looking and a blue spoon or a brown spoon. So that braid because it can slip a little bit, I leave a little extra. Just in case we get a monster on there. But uh I think it's gonna be good. That's good feeling size. Not real big. So I'm liking that. I'm liking them colors. I'm liking that red on there. I'm liking that red on there. So small enough even the small fish can grab it. So excited about that. This is a Fenwick. This is a uh, Eagle Series six foot six. I like six foot six in the river. Adjust this camera a little bit. I like the six foot six in the river. It's good size on them pontoon boats. Uh, it's quarter to one ounce lures, eight to 17 pound test line. And I think this is a medium heavy fast. That's what I like for like, uh, you know, jerk baits, uh, crank baits, jig baits. And then uh, I guess I need to take this plastic off. I, I've had it on here for, I usually let it wear off <laughs> to protect the cork. So uh, might feel better on my hands. 20 pound braid, of course. I love that cigar. Uh, what is it? The 101. Uh, series comes the kits with the little but in this case I ain't going to use a uh, fluorocarbon leader on it I'm going to use uh, braid on it straight braid I usually use my fluorocarbons on my um, finesse baits where I get a little bit more you know touch touchy feel this is my new casting king uh, man I'm really liking this rod and reel um, this is, uh, let's see, I think this is the, I uh, can't remember the name. You know, every one of them's got a name. It's 5 2 to 1 gear ratio, so it's not a big, but it's 10 ball bearings. Man, got to remember which one this is. I know it's on here somewhere. The name of it. It's like the, but uh, this rod. So this is the Prestige 2. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this rod, it is a, uh, of course, a uh, six foot six, uh, but it is a, um, a medium light, fast action. And man, I am loving this setup right here. If I was gonna go very, very expensive, they had a sale, I think I got the reel, the rod, and everything for probably at a hundred bucks. Um, and I'm telling you, it reels good, it feels good. The balance of the rod and reel, it's light. And I mean, I was so much enjoying fishing with this um, just the other day. So, so we're going to rig this one up too with a leader on it. And uh, I'm going to use uh, this is the one I'll use the. Uh, the uh, 
uh, the power bait on from Berkeley, uh, the uh, the little general. So stay tuned. I'll get the line on this one, and uh, we'll be right back. Well, there I have it. I got all the um, rods or reels, and uh, like I said, I'm using Seaguar 101 20 pound braid with uh, and really why I switched to that a couple years ago was is just better hook sets I I have not lost as many fish at all I know I'm still using a fluorocarbon leader on some of the finesse ones but that's way less stretch so I, I'm a firm believer in it because I've seen the actual uh, you know results from it I don't know if you know if everybody believes that or what but uh, I have so it's made me a better you know hook set land rate in the river so because sometimes you know they'll grab it you know and you're you're just reeling in to recast and you know they run up out of rock and grab it and you know without that stretch there um, you know you're able to snag them so uh, even if you're a little bit late on it so uh, of getting it you know hook set so um, so this one right here I'm not putting a uh, bait on it but I'm uh, this is one I'll be putting the power Berkeley power bait on um, I do have I used to use one I think it's 130 seconds on the uh, uh, weight I usually use tungsten I'm out so these are the metal ones I don't have any right now but I think these ones are uh, 1 8 uh, I, I know a lot of people use a lot like 1 10th and something like that uh, but I do better with a little bit heavier weight so you know gotta find what works for you um, you know when it's all said and done so <laughs> but uh, so stay tuned to the next video uh, after this one. So I wanted to show you all my new baits that... Uh, now, the other ones I'm going to show you here. Let me get turn the camera around here. Uh, I'm going to show you is... This is for next week's tournament. I've got some bigger quarter and three sixteenths number four hook uh, shaky heads. So, just in case I need them up there at the tournament, on um, it's up on uh, oh, it just left me uh, Douglas Lake in Tennessee. But uh, you know, it's a deep lake. A lot of people don't. It's a very deep lake. So, and I'm a crankbait lover. Now you'll notice I've got all these. I <coughs> got all these uh, Mustad Ultra Points trouble hooks I got ones and twos size because so far this year the uh, Tennessee shad or the uh, grizz uh, I think it's uh, green gizzard shad has worked the best for me so I'm gonna try some XDs by strike King for all the different so these are for uh, 19 feet deep because it's such a deep lake if because the, they're already moving out I've got some for that uh, up to 15 feet deep, so this should get me 10 to 15. And then I've got my smaller ones that'll get me uh, up, it's three times D, 10 to 12 times D. So, if, and then I've got my smaller ones, uh, you know, for up shallow, but we're not really expecting them to be up shallow. The other thing that I'll probably be using there as well is. Uh, I represent them uh, is these black and orange this is the uh, ledge hog these are one ounce one ounce big ones so that way I can get real deep black and orange these actually have won tournaments before on Douglas Lake so these will also be going with me and uh, you know because you'd be sw uh, fishing deeper water so uh, I've got to change the hooks on this and uh, all them baits, and I've got to get and put it in one of my 
Um, probably just going to put them in my edge box here that I really like for uh, these deep baits. So, uh, anyway, stay tuned. So, in the next couple weeks, tomorrow, Lord willing, we're going to the river and uh, we'll do a follow up on those baits that we've uh, rigged up in the line, the K9 line, and tell you how it goes and uh, uh, what I think about it. And we'll also uh, talk about the new date baits, the Berkeleys and the uh, the uh, uh, power baits, and also the uh, the spinner baits, um, the Booyah spinner baits, and then also the jigs. So we're going to try three new lures up there on the river, and hopefully we have a great day. Like I always say, you can't harvest them in the house. Get up, get outside, and have a good time, and also worship the Creator more than created. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Don't forget, I've been meaning to say this. Please like and subscribe. Help us out tons. Doing great on my um, on my uh, Facebook Live uh, podcast, KKOA Let's Talk. Getting tons of views on YouTube, but I'm not getting subscribers. So put in the comments. Uh, you know, I'm a big boy. If there's something you like about our show, uh, you know, I'm, I said from the beginning when I started the show, I'm just a novice. I'm learning as I go along, and I'm trying to share what I learn with you guys from talking about the professionals. And uh, I know sometimes you want to, all the professional fishermen or whatever are going over, starting their YouTube show because all the, you know, everybody's making money on it. But uh, I try to find the more economical baits to go out and try to catch fish with and so uh if you like that kind i mean these booyah these baits uh that i um purchased here there's two dollars and 70 cents a piece on the spinner baits two dollars a piece on the jigs so not really expensive i've actually got the uh receipt uh matter of fact i will get that out of the bag and maybe i'll post a picture of that in this video where you can see that um but you i got them at walmart so um but i think that's gonna be a help to all of us you know if we can find some of these cheaper baits don't break the bank still catch fish we'll have a good time Yeah